This is one on one. That's good acting, man. I'm a fool for you, man. I get that a lot. I go to Atlantic City all the time. Like, are you the guy? I go, no, I'm not. This is one you can't afford to miss. They thought that I would survive it, but I knew I would. Hey, folks, you're about to meet a beautiful, talented young lady who's doing important work. She is Kate Lazen. That's, that's right. I'm talking about you. Kate Lazen is the founder of Arts Unbound. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you. What exactly is Arts Unbound? Arts Unbound is a studio and gallery dedicated to the artistic achievement of uh, children, adults, and senior citizens with developmental, physical, and psychiatric disabilities. How'd you get into this? Uh, well, I have a daughter and um, Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn is my daughter. I have three children, two boys and Evelyn. And in my um, during my pregnancy, the doctors discovered a, a, a genetic anomaly. She has an extra number two chromosome, and they promised that she would be profoundly disabled. And so, in preparation for having this disabled child, I sought opportunities to volunteer in an artistic setting. I thought that would be a joyful setting and right. I would find community there and what I found were popsicle stick, paper plate, macaroni, glue kinds of projects that kept people isolated and safe and I um, just had dreams like everybody, every other parent wanting um, my child to be part of a community, um, part of something aspirational uh, having doing something of value, and I couldn't imagine what it would be. Um, so I started Arts Unbound. You started it. Yes. How did you do that? I I was. I mean, it's just one thing to be frustrated because what you're looking for doesn't exist. It's another thing to say, "All right, I'll create this." Uh, I was just so disappointed in what I what I found, and I just. And part of it is that I was terrified about w what it would mean to have a disabled child. And so, you know, I, what I start to do is spin around and mm. be become crazed with activity, building something. And that was sort of a therapeutic thing to do. Um, but you keep start an organization. Mind. It's a not-for-profit. Yes. And you get people, what do you, raise money, build a board? What do you well, do? Well, first I, first I began to talk to other people who, who had similar ideas of wanting something more for their children. And I established a board of directors, um, and uh, a few of them were parents of, of, peop of, of children with disabilities who had artistic aspirations. And, um, and then there were other people on the board who loved this genre of art called outsider art. Outsider art. By the way, we're going to show some pictures of mm -hmm. some of the activities mm -hmm. there. So describe what outsider art is and what's going on at Arts Unbound. Well, there's a, there's a, lot, of, there's a lot of people who, who are interested in outsider art because uh, the, the, the artistic expression, whether it's sculpture or um, painting, whatever media, media it represents, is created by somebody who's been marginalized by uh, geographic location or socioeconomic status or disability. Um, but what oftentimes happens is this really fresh um, expression, an untrained expression. This, what you see is an irrepressible desire to create and express artistically, and people are very excited about that in the mainstream art world. Describe the impact that the kind of programming you're talking about, this initiative, that not only has it had on Evelyn, but who is now 11, right? Yes. Your daughter, but also on others. What kind of impact are we talking here? Well, um, the, the result, uh, because our focus is artistic achievement, uh, the therapy that happens is a byproduct of... What do you mean therapy? Well, the therapy, w that, that there's, there's a sense of connection, a sense of accomplishment, you, the, there's an expression of what it is and to, to have a challenge, um, all of those things that you hear about art therapy, um, th those all happen as a byproduct of inclusion and earning power and, and you know, genuine artistic achievement. What so about there's no Evelyn? macaroni, there's no paper plates. And <laughs> the macaroni is banned. <laughs> there's, no there's no macaroni. <laughs> you were telling me right before we got on the air that for your daughter, some very exciting things are happening right now. She's performing. She's out there. Describe it. So the, the, the lovely thing about Evelyn is that she is untouched by this um, genetic anomaly. I, 
I um, prepared to have this child. I was busy forming a board, building programs, recruiting artists and students. And in the first year of her, after she was born, she made eye contact. She rolled over. At 10 months, she stood up and began to walk. And by the time she was kindergarten age, I mean, I, I, I can't express to you the joy I felt in walking her to her public school kindergarten classroom. Um, she's just by some, some miracle not touched by this. There's no manifestation mm. of this anomaly. And so she's now, um, she's a, an, a, a, an avid circus enthusiast. She's been to <laughs> circus school. She's, um, she performs with the Village Light Opera in Manhattan. She's a singer and um, she wants to be an astronaut and, um, and, or a dog trainer. Either a dog trainer or a or yeah, an astronaut. Whatever she wants to do. Now, yeah. the, the, what what is built? Or excuse me. The, the work that is done in Arts Unbound is sold. Yes. Where is it sold? So we have. Not only do we have a studio where people with different kinds of disabilities. Is that the can, store we're looking at right there? What, yes, what is that's that? the studio. That's okay. the front. That's the that's the storefront. Where are you located? And we're located in Orange. Orange, in New Jersey. Orange, New Jersey is where. And what's your website? It's www.artsunbound.org. There it is right there. And yes. people can go on there, and what happens when they, they go there? Is it they information, can, or can they buy stuff? What they do they can, do? They, they, can buy, they can buy art and uh, greeting cards. You can donate to our programs, um, and you can also uh, see artwork and uh, learn about who our artists are. And, and the other exciting. thing about Orange, I happen to know that area well. You happen to be in an area, blighted is a word from the 1960s, you're in an urban renewal zone, meaning a zone, yes. an area that, frankly, and Orange has had some troubles. Yes. And you're there. So what's going on there? Well, I, I'm really proud to be a part of that. About the isn't there the, arts community? Because yes. I've heard about that. Exactly. So, so Orange, Orange was the is the former hat factory capital of the universe. That's so right. You've got Stetson down there. Yep. You've got Berg, and so. You know, people who are in and out of the, uh, of the city on the Midtown Direct look, and you can see all these empty factories. And um, through uh, our partnering organization, Hands, um, which is housing. Hands, is that and Pat Morrissey? It's Pat Morrissey. Oh my, God, my good friend Pat. Yeah. So Pat, they're always doing this kind yeah, of work. Exactly. So way back when, I went to Pat and and did a little tap dance and said, "We need to be down here." And together um, with a, with a number of other artists living in Orange. Pat led the way to what's called the Valley Arts. So they are redefining the former Hat Factory District as an arts destination. And the beautiful thing about Arts Unbound is that it is attracting foot traffic mm. to, to the area. And our disabled artists are, are really helping to transform mm. this, this area and redefine it as an arts d destination to lift the spirit. We've attracted other retailers. And so this is a very different model than isolating disabled people and keeping mm. them safe and busy. They're really in the forefront of this really uh, transformation that's impacting school children and the residents. It's physically beautifying the, the, the streetscapes. How proud are you? Can you tell? I'm very proud. <laughs> I'm You're very glowing. proud. Yes. And uh, we're proud of you and happy for your daughter, Evelyn, and wish you, you and the organization Arts Unbound. It's a not-for-profit, one of the many organizations around the region that are really doing important work every day. Um, Kate Lazen, I want to thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Steve. You're a leader. Thank you. Stay with us. One-on-one -on -one will continue right after this. Thank you very much. If you would like more information on this program or if you'd like to express an opinion, email us at info at caucusnj.org and visit us online at oneonone.org.